the Fieldworld F6 monitor got a pretty significant update with the new firmware. So today we're going to go over how to install that and take a look at just what is included in that firmware update. Hey, I'm Scott and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please do consider subscribing if you like the content. We have all kinds of unboxings, tests, reviews, tutorials, anything photo and video related. So again, if you like the content, please do consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon to make sure that you get notifications when new content is uploaded. So like I said, the F6 Plus here got a pretty significant update uh, and that includes waveform, vector scope, image flip, nine grid and false color. And especially adding things like waveform to a monitor after it's already been released, it's pretty huge. And I've honestly never seen an upgrade like that in another monitor, especially around this price point. So first up a quick walkthrough of just how to update the monitor. All you need to get started is an SD card and they say on the website to format it to NTFS, but uh, as a Mac user, I couldn't do that. So I formatted it to fat and it seemed to work just fine. Download the firmware file from the website and I will put a link to that in the video description and don't do anything to it. Just leave it as it is and copy that over to your SD card. With the monitor powered off, put the SD card in the bottom, turn the power on and go into the menu. Under the icon that looks like a little gear, you'll find a firmware upgrade section. Just click the arrow over to load that firmware update and you will see a progress bar appear on screen. If you check the little light on the bottom of the screen while it's flashing red and green, that means that it's updating the firmware. And then when it turns red, it means that the update is complete and you can go ahead, remove the SD card and turn the monitor back on. So now we're just gonna quickly take a look at each of the added functions one by one. Double tap on screen to bring up the menu and in this first page, you can see first of all, all waves. Turn that on and you can see that there are a bunch of uh, waveforms and uh, scopes that pop up on screen. You've got your vector scope here, you've got a histogram, you've got your audio bar and your waveform down the bottom. With these scopes on, if you switch the LUT on and off, you can see that the scopes do move. So these scopes are reactive to the image on screen, not to the image that's actually coming into the camera. So if you have a LUT on, just be aware that that LUT image is what the waves uh, waveform is gonna be reading, not the original image. If you turn all waves off, then you can go ahead and select one by one, things like the parade. This will bring up your RGB parade waveform there. You can also do YUV, then you can go over to Y or you can turn it off. You can also turn your vector scope on and off independently, as well as your histogram. When you have all waves on, you can also go down to the parade option and you can change the way that your waveform is displayed on the bottom here with all waves turned on. While I would prefer that these didn't react to the LUT you applied to the image, it is great to see that Feel World not only added waveforms into a monitor that was already released, but they added the option for Luma or RGB waveforms plus a vector scope. Just they really did up the functionality of this monitor quite a bit with this firmware release. Now, if you scroll down in that same menu, you can see if you turn on the false color, uh, you did have false color in this before, I believe, but which is the type that you see right now. But if you go over one more, you now have type two, which is mostly grayscale, but will then highlight in pink and green some of these kind of key points on the exposure scale that will maybe make it easier to quickly look and judge your exposure on skin tones or middle gray or something like that. So this is gonna be a quicker, faster, easier type of false color uh, for some people. And it's nice to see that they added that in here as well. In the second menu here, you now have the nine grid option, which allows you to get a nice composition in your image. You can also change the color of that with uh, the marker color option down further in the menu. And in the third menu, you can now flip your image horizontally or vertically independently, which again is a really nice way to be able to control that. Not only image flip, but image flip horizontally and vertically separately is very, very useful for depending on different situations, different configurations of the monitor. All of those things are of course accessible through the quick access menu down the bottom here. And if I want to change something, for example, if I want to change parade uh, to let's say false color, you can just double tap it and it will let you scroll through some different options for those different buttons. And things like false color, which do have multiple options, you can choose type one or type two right from the sub menu that pops up when you select it. So this is a very, very easy to use uh, user interface and it's much, much better than Feel World's old interface uh, combined with that touch screen and now combined with the upgraded options that are built into here, the upgraded functionality. This is really, really a great monitor to consider. It's not the brightest monitor on the market, but overall for a five inch monitor at this brightness, it is really, really a great choice now. So if you have any questions about this monitor itself or any of those new functions built into there or how to upgrade your monitor, let me know down below and I will do my best to get back to you. Otherwise, if you like this video, please do consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing if you haven't already. And as always, thank you for watching.